Oh, it's your favorite bird friend. It's India Swift. Wow. Oh, it's your favorite bird friend. It's India Swift. Wow. Thank you. 
Hello, good out of morning. Hey, hey guys, good out of morning. Can you hear us okay? Yeah, it looks like it. How's everybody doing? <laughs> Steel Rain says, what will you have after 500 years? I don't know what that means. Nothing, I'll be dead. Oh, it's a, um, it's an invincible reference. There you go. Now I know. I know now. Everybody's sleepy. Well, wake up! It's Monday. Think fuck thing. It's Monday. So, how you doing, Mike? How you doing, everybody? I am doing okay. As sleepy as always. How are you? I'm doing alright, thanks. I'm just trying to find a resource for the stream. Um, so I'm, I'm oh, it's your down. favorite bird friend. It's India Swift. Wow! Scrolling down a um, a blog at the minute, looking for something in particular. So quiet today, Mike. Yeah, I've only had two hours sleep because I played Conan for too long. Why did you do that? <laughs> what the heck, man? Yeah. Why do you only have two hours sleep? Because I'm stupid. Were you up to like four or something? Yeah. Oh my gosh, what? I'm sorry. Don't do that to yourself. Yeah, I shouldn't. That way you're so cranky. Yeah. Jeez, oh. So yeah, I I should shout out a couple of things. Um, cool. I, sorry. I said cool. Yeah, I should shout out a couple of things at the beginning of the stream, uh, because our friends have have made some really cool stuff, and no we way. want you to go and I see it. I can't believe this. And uh, and celebrate cranky that awesome work. Cranky doig, cranky doig, cranky doig, cranky doig, <laughs> cute doig. Thanks, Habo. Yeah. Thanks very much, Habo, for the subscription. That's awesome. So yeah, the, there's a couple of, I'll, I'll link them in chat. There's a couple of, of projects. So our pal Verti has been helping Jaden Animations with uh, a lot of the videos that Jaden does, but specifically also with the latest video that's been like a, a big deal and a long time coming. Uh, and it's Jaden, the anime. So I'm going to link that into chat. Yeah, it's super cool. Jane's new video. So please enjoy this. Because they all worked super hard on it. And then we also um, have a Knights animation that dropped recently. That Habo in chat directed. It's a trailer for a game called Kraken Academy. Woo -woo. Which is a great name for a game. Crack on. Crack on. Crack on. Uh, so, Academy. let me link you guys to that. Crack on. So, all the animation in this is by Habo. Yeah, the game has a cute broccoli character. That's, what, that's the main thing you need to know. <laughs> I think Habo has also um, oh, wow. now experienced the odd thing of, of something you worked on dropping without you realising it was going to at that time. <laughs> and being like, wait, what, what, wait, what? It's out. So, uh, yeah, it's a weird feeling. 
it's nice to be able to know in advance for stuff like Mystic Crystal so we can actually, you know, plan out a hangout together for the for the premiere and stuff. Which is happening on Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, it sure is. You didn't, yeah, you didn't have to anticipate or wait for it. You just woke up and was like, oh, done. Yeah, I've got to admit, it's part curse knowing because uh, now I'm skewered. Are, yeah. you, are you scarred by fear? <laughs> I am scared by fear. I am a feared. But yeah, like congratulations to Havo, congratulations to Jaden and and Bertie. And everyone else on, on both teams. Super duper cool. There we go. I finally found what I was looking for. That's Yay. great. And I finally found what I'm looking for. So yeah. Um, oh, it's Jayden. your favorite bird friend. It's India Swift. Wow. Um, on Jaden's animation, um, Verdi D Red Helm was a storyboarder slash I think production manager uh, alongside uh, Aatrox and um, the the font and stuff, the font design for the um, the title and the lyrics, I believe, is by Tib or Noah Tibmar. Yeah, and apparently the. The text is all hand drawn. That crazy. Um, like like I would have. Uh, everybody thought it was a font, but Tib actually hand drew everything, and is now considering making it into a font. But yeah, it's all hand done by Tib. Oh, of course. I haven't I haven't set the overlay. Yep, so today well. is an animal morning challenge day, and we have a couple of animal morning challenges to look at. Yeah, let me switch over to so some stuff. Um, so first up, get that overlay up. Second up, uh, let's switch over to. I don't know if I have a swift only. Okay, I'll switch over to this one. Why would you have a swift only? Why would I? Indeed. Um... Also, for anyone who doesn't know, my uh, interview with Studio Mala came out. Mike and I chatted to them about animation and stuff. Yeah, that came out on Friday. Yeah. <laughs> which, which I'm saying because I want to... Oh, jeez. It has music and it's loud. Um, which I want to call out because I was in a chat with my parents yesterday to catch up with them, which was really, really nice. Like, we got into a video call together. Um, but my dad was like, Oh, I saw the Mala interview. And, and I, was, I was like, Oh, oh, what did you think? Did you like it? And he said, Yeah, it was half an hour of lies. <laughs> 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 and I was like, What the heck do you mean, half an hour of lies? And he called me out for the fact that um, in the interview, funny. in the interview, I say that. Uh, one of the piece of advice I can give about animation to get better is to have a life and not do it all the time. And he's calling me out for being a hypocrite for not taking my own advice, which is totally fair. 
I just, I just loved. I was, it was so unexpected. <laughs> the phrase "half an hour of lies" <laughs> <laughs> from your own father. Yeah. So I listen. Thank you, father. So I listen to to your interview, and you're you're a liar. Yeah. Oh him. wait. One sec. <laughs> Chromail, Chromail from Ben, who says Chromail about missing the last Chromail. Did I miss the last Chromail? Gotta find it. Aha! Oh! Oh! Knock knock! Who's there? Who dare? Interrupting Bear. It's because the sound effect. You can't start responding to my knock knock joke and then stop as soon as I give you room to. Oh, sorry. Let me go again. Knock knock. Who's there? Interrupting bear. Interrupting bear. Oh, home. it's your favorite bird friend. It's in the swift. Oh, oh. Okay, I, d I didn't know where we did. I didn't know. We're I didn't know we're doing the bit. Oh, I'm a running around, running around. Devin, it is truly, it was truly savage. I wasn't expecting to be called out so hard. Would you mind, have you given me the controller for a reason? Yeah, that's for your bird. What for specifically? Controlling everything. So it's not hooked up to? Nope. Okay, so which one do I press to get to dismiss Chromail? The red one. There we go. Oh yeah, so what I have up is some of the animal in challenges. Oh, whoa, whoa, wow. So for anyone who doesn't know the uh, animal in challenge last week was to, to play the game Exquisite Corpse with one another, which is essentially when you take a piece of paper and someone draws a head and then folds it over and then someone else takes the folded over piece of paper where they can't see what the previous person has drawn and they draw a body and then fold that over and then pass it on to the last person who draws for legs without being able to see any of the previous drawings and you unfold the paper and you you get some really weird kooky results so we tried to do that we didn't have very many entries unfortunately so we have two legs and a set of arms um, we might do this again in the future and then roll these entries all together. You know, when we've got more momentum up from doing the challenges again. Yeah. Um, and then we can like sandwich them together. We could always like flip one of the legs vertically and like sandwich legs on top of the head. <laughs> so we have legs. We have legs, arms, legs. But then it would, yeah. Yeah, we could. But I'm going to show you guys them anyway because, you know. People put the work into them, so I want to show them. It's a shame. Do you have any backing tracks that are the same v BPM that these animations are meant to be? I, I don't know. I just, <laughs> just like the little bear. Ta da! <laughs> um, I uh, it doesn't tell me what the BPM is. Um, it oh. said in the email, and it, I thought you said in the animal and challenge announcement. It, it's yeah. What no? What I mean is, it doesn't tell me what the BPM of oh of the, the songs sounds. that I'm playing are. Gotcha. I think it's like 161, maybe. Ah, well, never mind then. Don't worry about it. Let's have a look. So this is from uh, Anne Marie Appleberry at Highness a Cloud. Let's have a look at some arms. I like these arms look like they're explaining something to you. You see, you have to put the coffee into the cup. <laughs> There's some nice hand drawings in here, though. Nice shorthand. I mean, the only thing that I think would improve this would be a couple more in-betweens to, like, really smooth out that motion and get your eases and stuff going. And just, like making sure that these shoulders and stuff are hinged properly 
so that when you draw them you're keeping trying to keep that shape really consistent you know what always boggles my mind consistency wise um to go off on a tangent for a second is the work of kojo tano um i'll get his work up for you guys uh, some people in chat will already know who I'm talking about because I've talked about him before. Um, but uh, Kojo Tano is an animator who doesn't rough. He just animates straight ahead in inks. And his work is so effing consistent. It's, it's bonkers. Here he is. So, I should put the little bell on. Um... So this kind of stuff is Splendor uh, that he's animated, but this is hand drawn. Oh wow! This is done straight ahead with inks immediately. What? what? And every single frame of this is drawn, like redrawn every single frame, not not held or scaled or anything. It's all drawing. You can see the boil on the lines, but the consistency is is bonkers i found one that's 115 bpm nice called up the mountain shall we shall we get that uh sure yeah this work is beautiful i i find his character um the way he draws faces very appealing very cool work um but yeah so i'm not saying you can be kojo tano because kojo tano is bonkers but um just these shoulders like look to really make sure that um you're getting a consistency here with how far out they are and just just trying to keep that shape consistent between the uh the frames there will of course be times when you want them to raise their shoulders just make sure that you are like keeping control of that shape and that form i really like some of these shapes though nice hand shapes really nice hand shapes yeah just a few more in-betweens here to like really clarify what the spacing is meant to be between them Okay, this one should be 116 BPM, which is what was recommended, so I'm going to play that. Okay. Okay. When I say inked, do I mean inked on paper? No, I think he inks digitally. So I think he works, um, tradigitally. Is... I didn't listen to this beforehand. That's what I tend to say. Oh, thank you, Martina. Yeah. Did I call him Kojo Tano and he's called Tano Tano Kojo? Did I? No, I know I got it right. Cool, cool, cool. I've got his name wrong before, so I get frustrated when I do. Yeah, I'm not sure which program he uses. He doesn't use Toon Boom. Um, he uses something else. Some he used to stream on YouTube and I used to catch it every now and then, which is how I know his process. All right, well, awesome work at Highness of Cloud. Thank you very much for submitting. I Thanks. love we've got a nice long neck as well. I'm excited to see what's going to go on the top of it eventually. So then the next one is at Blah Blah Neve. Who is, who is a regular. I've missed seeing your animations. Let's have a look. This looks super cool. I've already seen this one, so I know it's super cool. Look at this. How awesome is this? You got that you got that grid going? You got that perspective going? It's going in time with the music, yo. Super cool. The, I've got to say, the, the timing on this is really satisfying. Like, it's very fun to watch. I guess if I could critique something, and I know I can't critique the hips not moving, because that's a that's just a um, limitation of, of what we're doing. Um... I think it'll be the shape we've got here. Because obviously here the um, the platform is square that they're standing on. 
and then here it's meant to be spinning but because we have just one drawing it doesn't actually look like it's spinning it kind of looks like that's just the shape of the underside of it mm -hmm. so just add like if you add one more drawing in here and then cycle it as it comes towards the cam you're gonna be able to make it feel like it's actually spinning you just need like a little bit of variance in the frame that's all you need and you will have it done me show you what i mean oh man i hate drawing in this in this i'm gonna have to do it doll okay So I always find doing like, I don't know what you'd call them. Like, would you call them speed lines or something? Like, um, doing these little like almost helicopter blade type shapes um, on it that you can switch around. I find that's really helpful. I often also put speed lines around the outside. This is just my technique though. You can do whatever you want. And then I am going to do one here as well. It's going to change up where I put these helicopter type type things. This is very like farmhouse. It makes me want to dance. It makes you want to dance? Well, don't let me stop you. I haven't been. Go for <laughs> it. Little bear has been dancing the whole time. Oh, really? Oh, man, yeah. I can't see it. If only I had two heads so I could, like, watch the stream with one and then draw with the other. Everybody draws with their head, right? Doing one here. ba 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 da ba ba da ba ba da ba do you remember? F off! Stupid alarm. I'm up. <laughs> yeah, that was the that was the thing that I thought I was waking up for. You thought you were waking up for 8 30? Yeah. Nope. Nope. I was trying to get us up at 7 30 for the stream but since i woke up at 7 30 that was pretty difficult to like ha manage yeah. get up feed the cat like go to the bathroom So these are like super rough fast drawings, but hopefully they'll give like the impression. So I'm hoping. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Ah, there you go. So it feels more like it's spinning now. Just because of the variance. Um, even though my drawings are really fast and bad. <laughs> the little cam shake on the landing. That's real nice. It's real nice, dude. I wish that we could... Um, I wish that we could have the the hips going down, but I know we can't. Mm. It's great though. I mean, you mm, you could have the hips go down and have it raise up to like another part of the torso. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I think the only other thing is just to make sure if you're gonna if you're gonna pop this line on here to show the inside. Um, show the inside edge make sure that you continue to show that all the way along because it disappears here and I'm assuming you're like easing out of this and to get that ease feeling like it's, it's actually easing you really need to actually make sure you add the line in just because that could also feel so satisfying to like see that that tilt ease back and forth. Oh, that could be really nice, yeah. Yeah. So let's see if I can get in roughly the same place again. Kind of. Just pretend it is. And then again giving it 
this down here so we can really see like the tilt of it because it's it's really cool that you've decided to to actually draw the tilt like that's some next level stuff like a lot of people would be tempted to keep this very flat to camera mm -hmm. but you haven't yeah which is awesome yeah it's really cool Oh, I see. It's it's, uh, it's a loop as well. So you could always have either the first or the last frame start to ease away from cam just a little bit. So we, we're easing into this shape. Because again, we have the lines here, so just make sure that you've got this ease happening. This is such a creative way to way to do this yeah agreed how is my audio by the way as uh, do i still sound distant and stuff as i as i lean forward into the microphone yeah i'd say with this end bit here where it comes close to cam really favor that close to cam drawing so that does like a nice ease in and out of it at the minute it maybe feels a little bit fast um I think you might be able to adjust the spacing there slightly just to make uh, it feel a little bit like a little bit more satisfying. I think mainly it's that it comes away from cam a bit too fast. So I think if you adjust the drawings there to have it like ease a little bit more, it'll feel real nice. Beautiful work though, blah blah Neve. I really like this one. I feel like it's really imaginative. I'll just add in here. Can you add more of an, sorry if my writing's really hard to read, ease away from cam. Cursive. Nice. And then our last one. Oh my gosh, what is this? Martina. Hey, you did one. Whoop, whoop. So at Martin. Look at Tiny Doigle! What am I doing there? Putin. What am I doing there? Hmm? Okay, let's have a look. I don't know, what let's find out what you're doing. <laughs> I'm dancing. <laughs> the legs are just dancing and you're just there. You're just there. You know, I'm... well thank goodness you're not on the other leg because that leg I like it's effing crazy like i'm controlling the legs you're controlling the legs I'm the brain. i don't believe you somehow i'm the brain <laughs> yeah i mean this is this is real fun i would say you just want to um you just need more in betweens basically like you have some keys Look in here the movements just feel like a little bit um what would you call it like stop and starty uh, There's a word for it. Stuttery? Uh, Sna snappy? Snappy, yeah, maybe a bit too snappy, just because you need a few more in-betweens in there. Um, probably a lot of the, the time on this was spent on the cleanup and colour, to be fair. Uh, so yeah, I'd say look to... Don't worry so much about cleanup and colour. Yeah. Devin says Doig is ratatouilleing them from just from the legs. Oh my gosh, it's incredible. Doig, the skill. Thank you. So yeah, see this ping straight back here. If you're going to ping such a large distance with no anticipation, I'd say either give anticipation um, for the movement or have it be like a smear frame. So you could have like a few little speed lines here to like just smooth out the movement elongate that foot a bit um because you're traveling such a large distance this will help people's brains to like fill in the blanks that aren't there so it essentially like it gives people in-betweens in their brain without you actually having to draw them and then i would ease that out a little bit on this frame Whoop. So you can see it moving backwards. I'm going to increase this 75 so it's a bit easier to see. The hardest thing, or one of the hardest things, there's so many hard things about animation is just like getting the consistency of volume and stuff. 
Um, so I understand like that's a, it's a difficult thing to do. But once you start to get that, I think that's when uh, everyone's work really starts to level up. Like a lot of the really good animators I see, one of the main things that they have going on is they're able to get this like consistency of shape that I still struggle with um, a lot, but I hope one day I can get there. And then I'm gonna take this opportunity to start easing out a little bit of this before the next frame. So I'm gonna start bending the foot. back here and that sock is going to start dragging forward sorry for my rough drawings okay, it's moving forward f like it's being motivated forward by that top thigh and then the foot and the lower leg are kind of being dragged behind and then we have this frame and then when it comes back to the, the ground rather than just having it immediately back oh you do have a little squash look you have a little squash that's cool a little squash a little squash yeah. just gonna bring those toes up a little bit before they come down Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, squash. And then I'd have that ping back up. So squash and then back up to, to normal size. If there's such a such a thing. Normal foot size. Or what I could do actually is rather than do this because I'm gonna have to do something weird to make this program hold the drawing I'll just make this more of a squash so you can see instead so if I make this a more extreme squash then you can see it bounce back on the next frame Puzzle to come, welcome. So that's like, I'm not going to do the whole animation, but that's like kind of how, how I would bolster this out a bit. And everything that I've done so far has been on ones, which I wouldn't recommend. <laughs> I would say, uh, find the important frames and do those instead, because as you can see, like it's effing difficult to actually see what's going on with mine because it's on ones. I wonder if we can play it at like half speed. That would be cool. 30 frames a second. If I put you down to 12. Then it, ah, it becomes a little bit easier to see but it's still kind of difficult. You can kind of see. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. Yeah, I think basically by f by adding in a few more frames, I think is what you really need to do. So here, instead of having um, flat on the floor, then one up, then flat on the floor again, just give that like oh. one extra, just of it like almost being up in the air. So that does just a little bit of, of suspension um, of the timing up there. I think of it kind of like a bouncing ball where when it gets up to this top of its arc, it almost like holds in the air for a second while it still travels. Mario jump. It gives like this really nice feeling of like boom, boom, rather than bob, 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 bob. So look to add one or two more frames. the top 
Oh, I'll put around the key. Because what it really feels like is like these are kind of keyframes. That makes sense. The keyframes. So you've got it here. Like you're kind of favoring up at the top, which is nice. You know, having one more frame between these two might be really nice. And then we have the twizzle leg, which I love. <laughs> <laughs> the twizzle leg. I kind of wish it could keep twizzling. What if it twizzled all the way and then did a step and then twizzled back? I don't know if that might be too complicated to do in the time, but let's have a look. So if this was to keep... I'm going to keep your foot positions, but keep it twizzling. Just keep it twizzling. What's that feel like? This kind of dealio. Just keep it twizzling. Twizzling. I just want to see it twizzle forever. <laughs> they called him the Twizzler. And he twizzled to the end of time. Oh man, it reminds me of the old man from Moonlighter. Oh yeah. I miss that dude. He was fun to voice. <laughs> Don't go alone. Take this. My signs. Do you enjoy it when I do voices or does it frustrate and irritate you? I love it when you do voices. Really? Why would it frustrate me? I don't know. Sometimes it Why? feels like you're trying to find ways to get me to stop doing them. N no. Um. Why would I make... Why? What, what makes you say that? I don't know. Get out of the way. No. 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 <laughs> And any tweezle. No. Oh, are you being your bear? No. We all on the on the here on the side, just looking at it together. All ruin it now. Don't get scared now. And then. I'd make this like a squash. Super you want silly. dog to throw India like Mario throws Bowser. Right? I wish that we could throw one another. Alright. That's so what good. I'm working on today then. You're gonna make his able to throw one another. I'd love that. So long again, Bowser. Wahoo! So what'd you guys get up to at the weekend? Huh? What'd you all do with your weekends? I could, yeah, I could make a, um, a, a, a grab point on India's tail. Don't do make up my tail. Yeah. Don't, don't grab me by the tail. That's what Mario do you know? does to Bowser. Yeah, but do you know what the grab me by the tail is like? It's like grab me by the hair. It hurts. Well, there's no other... What other I'm gonna get grab, grab me by the tail by. and swing me around like Mario does. That's what just was just requested. All right, all right. Fine, you can grab me by the tail if I can grab you by the antlers. All right. I want to swing you around like um, Trunchbull swings that little girl around in Matilda. All right. Would you want me to face up or face down? Face down. Face well, down. either is fine, actually. You can randomize, I don't care. This might be better to be an overshoot rather than an ease, but we'll see. We'll see. India's not a stuffed plush. She's gonna get Anims. They keep. I'm gonna get talk, Anims. They keep, when I'm standing next to you, they keep talking about the fact that like uh, you're like my totally real girlfriend, but you're just a doll, just pretending. But d no, this is just an, this is just an interim. Uh, this is a, a step forward. She's gonna move. Well, you think I'm not real? They they're trying to pretend that you're like a real doll. I am a real doll. Oh. 
I'm a real doll. No. No. Guys and dolls, we're just a bunch of crazy guys. Oh, it's because it's... I can't move it back now. It's because I still have it on 12 frames a second like a fool. Look, I'll boop your nose. Boop. But yeah, oh, like wait, something like this. I want to see it twizzle all the way around back to normal. Keep twizzling. Just keep twizzling. But yeah, the main note is just uh, look for opportunities. And I hate telling people to smooth stuff in animation because I think smooth is way overrated. Um, so I don't want to say to smooth out the animation. But just filling in those gaps in betweens. To remove the teleport. To add some pizzazz to the timing. Or to the spacing, I should say. To the spacing. Awesome. Thank you so much, Martina. Hey. And that's everyone. That's everybody. You see, now what I want to do is put them all together in like a big sandwich. And we might do that and show you guys um, sometime in the next few days. So we can actually do an exquisite corpse with it. I think what we're also going to do is come back to the exquisite corpse idea. Maybe when we've got more of a roll on. On the animal morning challenges. Yeah, when we've got more, more eyes on the challenge. Yeah, and then we can come back to these and roll them into that so that we can try them out with different heads and stuff. But for now, I need to give you guys the next Animal Morning Challenge. <gasps> what? The next Animal Morning Challenge! Challenge! So this challenge... Challenge! Challenge is inspired challenge. by one of my favourite animators. Um, he's called Wayne Unton. <gasps> and he's underappreciated, I believe, in the world of animation. Even though he's working at Disney and his animation supervisor and he's like, you know. I think he's not as well known as he should be. Um, so, inspired by this animation of Wayne's, which I will now play for you. Whoa. Here you go. Whoa. <laughs> We're going to give you a little bit of footage of an animal and you are going to design and animate a rider for that animal. I just think this is really fun. That's so cool. Yep. We're not looking for anything cleaned up or coloured or anything. Just just rough animation. Uh, you guys don't have to spend more than three hours on it. It's okay if it's just keys. It's okay if it's like very rough. Don't worry about it. Just have fun. Um, we're going to give you a video like this when we announce the challenge on Twitter. And yeah, you just animate over it and have some fun. Do what you want with your rider. Have multiple riders if you want. Like, design your rider. See if you can try and incorporate the movement of the animal with your animation. Like, you see how when they jump on, there's almost like a little dip on the grasshopper. Yeah. So it looks like it's taking her weight, even hmm. though it's not. Is that footage of a real grasshopper or is that 3D grasshopper? That's footage of a real grasshopper. Okay. It's cool that you can kind of see it like breathing, whatever it's doing. Vibing. Yeah. I'm surprised I got the camera so close to the book too. Pretty amazing. But yeah, it should be really fun. So, this week, insect riders or animal riders or whatever we can find, we'll find some close-up footage of something. Cool. And then you guys can uh, can animate it. And if you guys want to, to see this reference, I'll drop it in chat. And if you want to see Wayne's blog, where he's done other stuff, I think he's done some bird riders and stuff as well, with footage of birds. Oh, wow. It's animatingforfun.tumblr.com that's a see. good tumblr name yeah you can see all of his work here speaking of mario wahoo 
Wahoo. Like he's got all kinds of awesome animations he's done just for fun <laughs> on here. I think he does them on his um, 3DS. What? Yeah. He does them all on his 3DS. This is on Rough Animator on iPad. Oh yeah. Wow. So yeah, he just, it's just lots of videos of him like doing it for fun. He's even done like, look, he's done a flip note. And not only has he done a flip note, Mike, he's done it in the same book that I do my flip notes in. Oh, really? Yeah. The one that you got from Japan. Or... There you go. Yeah, it is. Whoa. Same one. Whoa. Someone had the same idea as me. Someone looked. Found it. So yeah, it's a, it's a super cool blog. He does a lot of like stop motion stuff as well. Holy shit. Just anything he fancies doing, essentially, he just does. He just does it. Yeah. This is a great one. Like, he loves taking actual footage of places yeah. and then animating stuff over the top of it. Oh no! I don't know what, what this is in the middle. It looks like an Eva Gellion sort of thing. <laughs> Yo! I think these are his kids. So cute. That's so good. Anywho, yep, yeah, that's the challenge. So enjoy. If anyone wants to grab the feedback from this as well, um, it should be available. I don't know if I can just link this straight in. Uh, I think you have to go to the main thing and then I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, thank you. This is a cool video with 2D characters riding in an RC car. I have to verify my age. No! Use my credit card! No! <laughs> no, Google! Submit an image of a valid ID like my driver's license. No! I'm not gonna do either of those things. I'm sorry, I can't check it. <laughs> I can't check it out. It wants me to either give them credit card details or a photo of my license for them to check and it's not happening. How weird. Yeah, it's like... No, you can't. You have to complete a brief check. You can either do this or this. It's like, no. No, sorry, Google. It's not happening. No. Sorry. It's not happening. I haven't got an adult account on Google, but I'm an adult. <laughs> I'm an adult. Anywho, it's fine. I'll take your word for it being awesome. In the meantime, I just need to finish this top panel of Glim and this page is good to go because the bottom panel, I'm gonna leave until we know the town a little bit better because there's this, this panel of Midge like cycling into the town. But I kind of need to know the layout of the town. Yeah. For that. So we've made the executive decision to just leave that panel until one of the last things. So that we don't draw something then need to change it later. Well, I guess I'll go back over here. Farmer then. says, I threw it on the ground! I'm an adult! Oh, tidy up. Missed one. So what's everybody up to today, huh?
Oh, the walking animation is by Jord Animating. It's so good, isn't it? You doop 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 doop. I might just only share your screen today and do if that's okay. Yeah, that's okay with me. Thank you for the follow. Thank you very much. Uh, Nido, blah blah Neeb, thank you for participating. Yeah, thanks Very so cool. much, blah blah Neeb. Hey! I think you guys will really dig the next challenge too, so I'm really excited about it. Um, for those that don't know, blah blah Neeb recently started a Patreon. Um, <gasps> I didn't know that! Their first post was about their m making their, um, uh, I think their university uh, film. And it was really cool and insightful. That's awesome! So hey! Blah Blah Need, if you want to link in your Patreon to the chat, you're welcome to. Congratulations, um, Blah Blah Need. It's really cool to see you sharing your process. Cabo says, please use the at in the Discord for the next challenge, question mark. Okay, yeah. Uh, we'll do that. Oh yeah, we have one of those, don't we? We do. You okay, Mike? Yeah, I just feeling tired. Oh. Did you like the music that I picked? That was like 116 BPM. It was all right. Uh. I don't remember it well enough to be like, ooh, it was incredible. I didn't listen to it beforehand. I just had to, you know, it make a lot of sense for I'm... Epidemic to let you search by BPM. Yes. I, I it, it didn't seem to work when I typed in the BPM or the number. Maybe we should uh, say to them. It would be very helpful, especially for animators mm -hmm. and uh, people who are editing to be able to choose a BPM to search. Yeah. I'm going to do a Google search to see if they've done that, but it's on a different way or something. You can also filter on vocals, instrumental, track length, and BPM. So you can filter on BPM. How do I do that? Let's see if I can do that. So is it maybe an advanced search or something? Uh, let's say it's like happy. So we got happy and then because I'm happy BPM. get along. If oh, you there is a BPM thing. Like the room without a roof. Well, because I'm happy. Oh. Oh, you can be like zero to. Yeah, there, there is a way to do it. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, that's good. They give you a little scroll bar where you're like, I want it between this BPM and this BPM. And then they're like, yeah, okay. That's oh, dope. That's dope, yeah. I figured they might have thought of it. What's oh, zero BPM like? I don't, I, I can, okay, one second. Do you know? 
I think zero BPM is for people who forgot to type in a BPM because they got results. They actually have results. Yeah. What? That's impossible. That's impossible. Nope. There's tons of result. Tons of results for zero BPM. No. Yeah, but none of them are actually zero BPM. No. They're just everyone who forgot to put in a BPM. They're just any BPM. Can I choose how loud this is going to be? Give one note for five minutes. That's it. That's zero BPM. Yeah. I can't really hear that. So, can I ask you a question regarding work? Yeah. Have you um have you finished the release post release schedule? Uh no. I have not um I have not figured out what everyone is submitting yet. But um I've got people paired up for when it's going to happen and then I've got the dates figured out, but that's about it. Okay, would you be able to maybe finish that today because I want to be able to share it with the artists on Mystic so they know what's going on with it? Okay. I mean, the yeah. only thing I need to do to finish it off was I was going to type out what all of the messes would, would be. But otherwise, the artists can see when and who they'd be paired up with. I think, yeah, then that'd be great to be able to post uh, to the artists. Okay. Then I guess, I guess I've done the task that you asked me to. I just, I was just, there's other stuff that I wanted to do and that would be useful. Hey, thanks. Do you know who has and hasn't submitted as well? I haven't submitted. Um, yes, I've, cool, got, cool. I've got toggle boxes for it. Cool, 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 cool. Thank you. Um, I might need to toggle on a couple of people who have since given us stuff. I like this track. It's cool. I like it too. Uh, okay, so Renee sent some stuff through and Habo sent some stuff through. Hey, awesome. Your BPM is so emotional. <laughs> What's up, Grog? Hey! We never see you at the morning streams. How's it going? Grog, are you, are Grogathy! You, Grog's been around a little bit in the last few weeks. That's true, more frequently in the last few weeks than ever before. Still feel like it's a rare enough occurrence though. It's always welcome. Of course. We stream for you, Grog. Um, I'm also excited and nervous about Mystic. What's all these alerts coming through my phone? That last one was... From 3. From 3? From, from 3. From, oh. your, from your phone provider. Black. Don't know what the other ones were. Oh, you're at work, Grog. New. No! Here's the link that Emlet sent, but on Vimeo. Oh, thanks. Thank you for the clip, um, Martina. Oh, dude. Yes, I love this one. I know of this. I love this. This is the line, right? Yeah, this is the line. This is the line animation. I love it's it. So good. So good. I'm like, this really inspired me when I first saw it. It still inspires me now. 
I love the style of it so much. Those harsh blacks, the, the way they use blurs. So good. What is that shot even? There's something about it that's very like paper bagish. Yeah. They, he did that like music video, didn't he? Which I think was probably a bit inspired by this. I adore it. It's so good. It's the, I think it's the thick outlines and the black shadows that are like yeah. his jam. It's true. It has the same line style as the Inked Agony Ant with, where it's got like a slight variance. Yeah. It's not like a smooth line. There's a boil to it. Oh, that was the adult part. That is that why you had to verify something. No! <laughs> they must have had to rig up like <clears throat> two cars for one of those shots. Because there was one where there was a camera blatantly like attached to the hood, and then there was one, another shot from farther back where that camera wasn't there. I wonder if they had two cars or whether they like. Just rigged up between shots? Had the one with the camera on it just on a string to be like, oh! Nope, that's not that one's not gonna drop all the way. Yolo, they've got so much attitude, yeah. So good. Tib, we so saw you layering. It was super cool. Yeah. Jeez, oh. It was very hard to believe it was hand-drawn. Super impressive. Beautiful logo design, as usual. The stream keeps lagging for you. Let me check that. Uh oh. What else, Bulgarios? Yeah, yeah. Our connection's being a bit. Oh, sorry, guys. Obi. Why has it been like that recently? I don't know. Like, it's not like this flat has bad internet. No, I think I think it's I think it's us. Specifically, our computers. I don't think it's our computers, I think it was our connection. Well, that's what I mean, it's like this flat doesn't have bad internet, so... What's with this? Yeah, I don't know. You had a lettering job, how wacky is that? It's super cool. It's Yeah, it is super cool. To be honest, I'm not super surprised just because you did such an awesome job with the, um, with the lettering for Starlight Brigade. Among other things, like you've helped us out with other lettering stuff in the past, you're just super good at it. 
no wonder people want to to hire you for it. Was it fun? Doing something like so different to animation. So what are you, you up to today, Mike? Today? Yeah. <clears throat> um, there's a little bit of um, freelance work I need to finish up and then uh, probably work in e either on like um, prep stuff or Wednesday or promotion stuff for us or like just Doug Swift stuff, I think. Oh, I have something that I would love for you to do if you if you would have the time to do it. What that? It's something I've been intending to do, but I'm not sure if I'm going to have time because of the deadlines I've got on right now. Um, Is it a Mystic Crystal related video yeah. for a channel? No. Oh. It's not a video for a channel. It's, um, you know, when we completed Starlight Brigade, Yeah. we had like an assortment of banners that people from the project could use. Mm -hmm. which were just screenshots from the video. Yeah. I was going to go through the video, the Mystic Crystal video, and take some like cool screenshots I thought could be used as banners and then put them somewhere on the um, on the project folder so that people, if they wanted to, could use it as a Twitter banner for a little bit. Okay. So if I got like maybe eight banners. Yeah. Okay. Then that would be really cool. I can do that. Thanks, dude. I'll make sure I get one of that that shot. That shot. That one. Which one? <laughs> Which I'm shot? just messing the with The bell. You. Oh, I'll get one of the bells. <laughs> no, I don't you. want the bell. You want the bell? Nope, I don't. The bell. Please no. Twitter bell. I don't want it. Ring that bell. Hit that bell. Hit that bell. Oh, it's your bell. Nope, I don't want it. Like comment and the bell. Just says it was definitely fun. Um, I really should just take some time and assemble a full font one of these days. I got 24 letters out of 26 done for just those credits. And some in bold too. You could, yeah, you could totally, you could start off with, with that font. Since you already have so much of it done. It looks wonderful though. <laughs> you gotta worry about, yeah, I would not know where to start. It sounds way more complex than you'd anticipate it being, you know. Oh, Belle's your name. Hey, Belle. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I'm not saying I don't like you. Does, I'm saying that there's a shot in Mystic Crystal with a bell and it caused me like so much pain. It's so hard to do. One of the worst things is that I know that when I tell people that I wrote a scope to the keys from um, a 3D model that Mike gave me, they're going to be like, ah, you, did, you did, made it easy for yourself then. It's like, no. You don't understand how long it took me to clean up those keys. How inconsistent they all were with one another. It took such a long time. Yeah. Probably would have been easier for me to just animate a bell. But you know what? It looks cool. So I'm happy that we did it. <laughs> that was a fun collab, I guess. You guess it was fun, or you guess it was a collab? Uh, that was fun. <laughs> I'm not sure either. Thank you for being a 3D guy, Mike. Uh, sure. I'm only Sammy decent at it. Getting the swing right on the bow, going back and forth, probably took more time than it did to model it, to be honest. Yeah. Do we have back and forth on that? I can't remember. There was a bit of back and forth on the motion of the bell. Yeah, it kind of was swinging back and forth. I think I adjusted the motion a little bit too um, yeah. in the final because I retimed some of it. Did you get the joke? No. You asked if there was back and forth 
on the motion on the bell and I said, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> That's good. It's a good joke. It was. It was well timed. Yeah. It was relevant. It was, yeah, it was really good. Good job. Every time a YouTuber says hit that bell, you're like, don't hit me. Smash that bell. You want a dong as your Twitter banner? I, we don't have one, I'm sorry. It says we have... <laughs> we, there is a crotch shot in the video, but... Oh yeah! Hey! Huh? I was just remembering that there is. Oh. I th it was so delayed, I didn't know if you were still talking about what I was I'm saying. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm a tired bear. Tired bear. Leave me alone. Just in the corner. We're both just in the corner. Tip, you got your first vaccine yesterday. That's amazing. Congratulations. I yeah, the government got you now. They've uh, made your arm ache. The joke had a good ring to it too, says Palbro. Hey, that's, Palbro. That's very good, Palbro. That's very good. Come on, Grog, you can do it. I believe in you. Rise! I'm just going to put a few little implication of houses in background. Nutty. Oh, comic! Yeah, and they're working on our comic. I do win it. So creaky. <laughs> in the in the age old question of is Doig working hard or hardly working? The latter. I sleepy. Too sleepy to go on breakfast quest. I'm not going on breakfast quest. I am going for a shower. Oh my gosh, you still not had one. <laughs> no. <laughs> I appreciate you calling me out like that. <laughs> well, it's just you brought it up and you've been saying that you've been going to have one for like days. I just assumed at some point you would have had one like between the times you told me that you're intending to. Yeah, because they're all screaming days at I me mean, now. Uh... Days! Days! 
It's been at least two days of you telling me that you needed a shower. I don't know, I just assumed after you told me you were going to have one yesterday that you at some point had one. <sighs> It'll be nice, you'll enjoy it. Yeah, well this all started with me being like, no, I'm not going to go on a breakfast quest for you, I'm going to go shower. and you're, Yeah, yeah, it's great. Good for you. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Good. Good. Do it. Have a nice time. I, it's like... In the after the stream, I'll be like, "Can you go and get me a coffee?" And I'm just like, "Oh, I will." I I just I want to go for a shower first, and then she gives me these puppy dog eyes. I'm like, "Oh, but yeah. you could just go and then." I say you could just go after. Back. Yeah. And then you're like, "Okay, I will." But I end up getting myself <laughs> breakfast, and then I eat breakfast, and then by and then the whole day like, is gone. <laughs> then it's like half eleven, twelve, and I like I feel like I have to start getting on with stuff, and then with I just I put it off. Okay. And then it's the next day. All right, you're right. It's all my fault. It's not your fault. It's my fault. Okay, whatever. Yeah, don't worry. I will. I will go and get breakfast and stuff this morning. Can, Can you, you get go? me stuff? Can I get you stuff? Yeah. Yes. Bacon ciabatta <laughs> and an orange juice and a white chocolate and oh. lemon biscuit. Do it. Excuse me? Do it. We'll see. Do it if you love me. We'll see what they have. If you love me, you do it. I don't. Do You don't. <laughs> Stop. Breakfast <laughs> quest. The twist in the quest for breakfast, the hero's journey, is the love is, is The is love wrong. was fake all along. It's the twist. It She's was the faking villain. it. She's the villain, you guys. You just didn't know it because the quest wasn't over yet. We didn't get any crow mail. There's no crow mail to get. Can you check? Since you're just sat there, anywho, maybe you can be responsible for the crow mail. <laughs> yeah! Knock knock. Who's there? Europe. You're, 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 a, you're a poo. <laughs> no! <laughs> You should have been the one that said no, no. It's pretty good. Damn I like it. it. Good joke. Damn it. Damn. Damn. What stupid fucking tree with its stupid fucking leaves that I have to fucking draw? Or it's. Just, I just want it to look passable. That's all. She, she did out my not showering to the world completely unprompted, so she could be evil, Grog. I agree. Indy, are you evil? Uh. I think I'm. Yeah. Neutral are you, evil. Are you lawful evil? No. I said before, the sad fact is I think I'm neutral good. You're neutral good? Yeah. Sorry, I think I'm lawful good. I don't think you're lawful good. I think you're, um... I disagree with a lot of laws, but I'm still too chicken shit to, to not follow the law. You don't believe in the law then, you just believe in the ramifications. Yeah, it's true, I don't. Awful I just, good. Awful good is, is accurate. Wait, what are the what are the different ones of, of that? It's basically lawful, neutral, D &D chaotic. Alignment. <laughs> Fine, just look it up. Look up the thing I'm about to tell you. Whatever. <laughs> True neutral, lawful neutral, neutral good, chaotic good, lawful evil, neutral evil, lawful good, chaotic evil, chaotic neutral. I'm gonna roll a d20, guys. You wanna guess what I'm gonna get? A six. You guess a six? Get your guesses in now. Photoshop's crash, can you NDA me? Uh, hang on. Okay, Ben says seven. Jim says 17. 
Okay. That says 15. Your ND8. All right, guys. Uh, let me just close this. And reopen it. What All right, did I'm I gonna say? roll. A six. Yeah, single pulse has a nine. Let's see. Here we go. It's a three. Huh. Everyone loses. What did they lose? The game. You all lost the game. It was a good. It was a good attempt for everyone, though. Ben, you can't say three now. <laughs> it's too late. I okay, mean, you can you can NDA me now. I mean, depending on depending on where Jim is on the listen to the, to the recording, he might have got it. Three. It was lagging. No, I don't believe you. I don't believe any of you. You're all chaotic evil. Wait, Jim already picked seventeen. Jim. 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 Jimmy. Jim. You confused me. Jim! It's not Jim's fault. Jim, 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 I'm no Jim, 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 Jim. He's Jim, 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 Jim. It's like a race car after a certain Jim, 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 Can we have a pile on next to the road? We can, we can, we can, we can, we can. It's your comic. <laughs> I was like, three. Oh, look at that. I guess correct. No. Do it again. What, you want me to roll again? Yeah, you're going to get a 15. A 15. Okay, does yeah. anyone else want to put their guesses in? This is Place fun. your bets, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a winner. Got a hot hand. Jim, Jim, getting a nat 20. I, I hope so. Give me a 15. We'll see. Here we go. It's a three. What? <laughs> again. <laughs> it's a three again. Ben. Ben, you win. <laughs> Rick. I can only roll threes. That's the only, all I can. That's all I can roll. Ben's RNG master. <laughs> is, OTG is original this a gangster. Dice? Is this is this a, a, a true D twenty or is this your stupid cylinder thing? No, it's a true D twenty. My stupid cylinder thing. This is my favorite dice. Is it the cylinder D twenty? No, it's not. Okay. It's it's my black and gold D twenty. Okay. You gave me loaded dice? He gave me loaded dice! <laughs> Yesterday, uh, our flatmate ventured in, in to meet up with some people and uh, he was going into town and he's like, oh, I'm just, you know, I'm just popping into town for a bit. And I was like, cool, pick me up a cheeseburger. <laughs> and the look of confusion. Well, first he didn't hear me, and India did, so she laughed. Um, and then she, I was like, "Oh, India heard me." I was like, "Yeah, I just asked you to pick me up a cheeseburger." And and then he, he was like, "All right, yeah, it might be a, uh, might be a bit cold by the time I bring it back." But I instilled the want and the need in both of both India and I to get to get a burger, and we got burgers. We got burgers. How was your burger, India? Uh. You didn't like it? Uh. I think I have a shit taste in food. Yeah, I, I think you do was too. Good. It was like, it was, there wasn't much seasoning in it, so it didn't taste like much, and mine was like burnt. Oh, was it flame girl charred? Mm -hmm. Mine was charred as well. I think that's maybe just the style of it. You really like, do have a shit taste in food. <laughs> I think maybe I just liked the fact that it was a burger and I was eating it. Yeah, I think that's true. I think you care more about what the food is than how it tastes. No. I think Because you'll automatically those... dislike stuff that you think you're gonna dislike, even if it's really nice. I think And you'll like anything that's a burger or a pizza, no matter how bad it is. That's not true. Yes it is. No, I the think the absolute truth. I think if I'd been having like good quality burgers and then had that one, I'd be like, Oh, this one's not as good. But the fact that I haven't been having burgers 
means that any burger is a good burger. Good right, burger. I liked it. Home of the good burger. Uh, the the dirty fries that came with it. That's what they're called on the menu. Um, were under, were undercooked, fries. but the sauce was good. I don't think they were undercooked because mine were fine. I think maybe it's just because yours were covered in sauce that they had kind of gone like kind of limp and soggy. They weren't limp and soggy. That's not what undercooked chips are like. Were they crunchy? No. Under undercooked India. They were like potato. If a potato is undercooked, Mike, it's crunchy. No. Do you know what a potato is? A, an, an undercooked fry is not crunchy. It's, Guys. it's solid. It doesn't crunch. It's like solid potato. Well, mine it's definitely not... weren't like that. Well, mine were. <laughs> they weren't soggy. They were <laughs> just like potatoes they weren't crunchy. wrapped in lies. Well, I'm really sorry that your potatoes were potatoes. But I think if they'd been properly cooked for a little bit more, they would have been most excellent. Because most the sauce excellent. was good, yeah. Oh, it's a shame. For sure, because my fries were done perfectly fine. They were cooked a little bit, come on. They weren't just like... Hand cut straight from the bag or anything. Just get five guys. Yeah, well maybe maybe next time we will. I don't think they were an option for us. I'm gonna check because five guys are. I mean, they're okay. <laughs> yeah, they're all right. They're better than that was. To be fair, so. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna just go and straight up. Like the fries were the I'm best gonna, part for me. Uh, just eat Dublin Five Guys. I mean, Google trying to point me at the restaurant. I mean, it's taking me to a Five Guys free delivery terms and conditions for like 2018. From 2018, okay. But let's see. You're meant to be good at Google. That's what I keep telling people. I'm good at Google. Don't embarrass me. I am good at Google. <laughs> they might not be on. Just I don't eat. think they are, because they would have come up, surely. Well, their their disclaimer about their offer was from 2018 was on here. It might just be because they're slightly further away. Although there is a five. They might guys, have closed because of the five guys in Dundrum. Might have closed because of the pandemic. Oh, maybe. I don't think so though. Why we guys play? and dolls. We're just a bunch of crazy guys and dolls. Ay yeah 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 yeah. What's what's a sugon fries? What's a sugon fry? Apparently it's bank holiday today. It is. Okay. That's true. It's the truth. You can the truth order, universally acknowledged. You can order through Deliveroo. You can, but they're not on Just Eat. I guess not. Why would they do that to themselves? Because Deliveroo is better? Yeah, but I mean, I just mean it's like, it's kind of like not being on Amazon. You know, it's like the place that most people go. So why would you not? I might get. <laughs> you've decided you want a Five Guys today. <laughs> Look what you've done. Maybe. <laughs> India doesn't even know how much she got burned. Havo says, "Sug on these nuts." I got, I got played real good, guys. I got played real good. I have to leave the internet now. I have to leave the internet. Something embarrassing happened to me, and I will never live it down. And everybody knows. Wait, what happened? Did she read like "sug on" and? <laughs> yeah, I did. I sure did. I got got real good. <laughs> I did. I gotta go. I gotta go, guys. Dub dub. I've been got. What did you say? Dug dug. No, 
Is that up, dog? You just... You don't just say it, Mike. You don't just look at someone and go, up, dog. I didn't. What did you say? I, I did. <laughs> he just looked at me and said, up, dog. You have to weave it into a sentence, up you dog. weirdo. What's up, dog? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> the sentence can't be, what's up, dog? <laughs> I or made it, her say it. <laughs> it doesn't work. I made her say it. No, you, you didn't. I... <laughs> Goodness sake. <laughs> that voice sounded like a doik. <laughs> I baited my own trap. <laughs> up doik. <laughs> what is up doik? How's I'm tired, it going? I'm tired. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna be nice to you. I don't. I need to study Aaron. And understand Why do you to need to it. study Aaron? <laughs> it's a weird thing to say. <laughs> yeah, it's a super weird thing to say. I can't believe anyone would ever say that. <laughs> yeah, me either. <laughs> well, you just said it. I can't think of any reason why I would say something while I was participating in a multiple person experience like <laughs> what are you talking about <laughs> multiple person experience what a weird way to describe a conversation she's, she's <laughs> completely ignoring everyone else present are you talking about me no I'm clearly talking about chat you just called chat she <laughs> no i didn't you said she's completely ignoring everyone else present yeah Who's she? You. <laughs> you are talking about me. I'm but right here. I was talking about chat in that <laughs> sentence. You could just use my name, Doik. A single petal <laughs> said, Doik needs to study Aaron and understand how to say it. And then I said it. And you're like, why would anyone say that? I didn't see it in chat. So it seemed like you were just saying out of nowhere, I need to study Aaron, which was a very like disturbing thing to hear your partner say <laughs> just out of the blue I must study this person hey Aaron hey Aaron hey Aaron are you there are you watching Aaron Aaron are you there imagine he imagine he was imagine frozen Twitter just, tw just Twitter twitch just now he just happened to be right here Hey Aaron, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. We're Doug and Swift. Welcome to your new favorite multiple person experience. Yeah. I'm going to call every conversation that from now on because I love it so much. <laughs> every what we do what? I can't believe you interrupted me in the middle of my multiple person experience. <laughs> Kind of like another word for a group event, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess it's kind of another word for a group event. I might start calling them group events too. Do you guys want to um have a group event? <laughs> you know, a multiple person experience. I feel like you're making fun of me. No, I would never do that. I feel like you're doing it all no, the time. No, no, I wouldn't. Me make fun of you. Hey, do you call you heard of this new thing? Called negging. It's really popular at the moment. It's a new thing called yeah. negging. Yeah. Can you give me an example? You. <laughs> me. <laughs> I mean, that actually is quite effective. Negging me all the time. I'm negging you, am I? Yeah. I'm negging you by making fun of you calling a conversation a multi person experience. <laughs> <laughs> We all define our own things in life. It's true. Yeah. I I really I genuinely like it a lot. Am I implying that India is a pickup artist? Uh. Oh my gosh, you guys! What I, is a pickup artist? You know though, don't you? You actually know. No. 
You don't. I, I don't have any idea what that is. You what, do know. You're such a liar. Um, I actually found it, one on YouTube the other day. Is it a type of truck? And it was the most cringy, insulting thing I've ever seen. Like, insulting towards women. It was just awful. Awful. I hope those, I hope that person who made the video and everyone who watches never gets never gets with a woman ever. I feel they like, don't deserve to. I feel like their strategies are always based on like manipulative behaviors. It's like why don't you try being a decent human being? A hundred percent genuine and sincere. And so many and of see the how videos it goes. So many of the videos are like how to not get the ugly ones. How to lose ugly girls, and it's like fuck oh. right off. You can fuck right off. <laughs> you gonna you gonna get that? <laughs> no. You get it. I'm never getting a chrome. Someone is trying to engage in a multi-person experience with you. No. <laughs> Please. I, I I just looked back at the website I was looking at, which was the delivery room for Five Guys, and then just the, just the statement of "your basket is empty" just filled me filled me with such <laughs> giggles. Giggles. Your basket is empty. Your basket is empty, sir. <laughs> I see you browse to our website, and your basket is empty. Basket is found wanting. You are a fake customer. Please, sir, uh, please, please put something in your bag. Put the lotion in sir, the basket. <laughs> sir, please, your basket, it's empty. Uh. Sir, your basket! <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine this? Sir! <laughs> That's like lush. Going into a shop. Lush oh, it's like level the, employee. The lush kind experience? Of, yeah. I couldn't help but notice you've been in our shop for one second and you haven't yet bought anything. Your, can I assist you? Your, I can see that your basket is empty. Sir. Sir. You gotta read the crow mail, Stoic. I don't want to. It's your job. To. It's your job. If you didn't want to read them, you shouldn't have made them. Listen. <laughs> My original intention for the crow mails is that we would see them. And then we would read them, and it would be, it would be just a nice <gasps> flowing, flowing <gasps> conversation where there are highlighted messages that we would be able to like track and see. You're the one that started crowing like a nutcase. <gasps> What's and that? And then this whole whole performance. What's that? Thing. What? <gasps> I think there's a crow here that you need to let in. Why don't you open the window? Paint me a soundscape. I'm not gonna paint you a soundscape. Ooh, it's trying to get in, Doig. Open the window. You have then. to open the window. Open the it's window. on your side. Go it's on. unlocked. Ooh. It's a, it's a window's open, it. open. It's not. It's jiggling. It can't get in. <laughs> what? The jiggling the window? Or... Yeah, it's jiggling. It can't get in. Oh. Come on, you gotta let it in. It's in. Look. Wah. No, it's not. There it is. I can see it. It's there, still outside. It you have to open the window. Let me hear it. No, it's a monster. Let me. Is that, was that the was that the window open? Who can tell? <laughs> I, can, I can't. Who can tell? Maybe you need to open it better. <laughs> oh, it's in. It's in. It's got you. It's got a mail for you. You better. You better open it and read it. Don't you think? I don't want to. Where are they gone? Oh, hang on. Oh look, the crow has delivered us a multiple person experience. <gasps> okay, from wait, is this one really from 17 minutes ago? <laughs> oh jeez, oh. First one says, knock, knock. Uda. Uda. Cows go. Cows go who? 
No, that's owls, cows go moo. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <coughs> I destroyed myself! <coughs> he rockied your world. Maybe. Don't ever let me do that again. Ah! He ro ah! He rockied... He rockied your world. Hey, do we not have another chromo? There's several. Oh. Oh. Well, you better read them. Cabo says, "Have you tried sugon fries before? They're like raw potato but cooked." Sugon. 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 Then one from a single pal says, I have caused a lot of chaos and I am not sorry. Five minutes ago. And then the final one from Ben says, Mail for the male god. <laughs> and it's gone. Forever. That's that that sound means that it's time. <laughs> that sound means that it's time to stop the stream. <laughs> You're out of points, Ben. Do you know what? I'm just gonna make crow mails. Like You're out of time, Ben. Five thousand points. Lights now. out. Lights out, Ben. Because you made. You made me angry. We <laughs> made you angry. You're like, you're like the least angry person. I know. Like, you made me angry. Yep. Now you have to have twenty thousand points to do a crawl mail. People are, ironically, more likely to buy crow mail for a really high price than they are for a low price. If they know that it's going to really annoy you. Yeah, well, they're only going to be able to do it a couple of times. There you go. <laughs> what did I tell you? Tried to warn you, doig. <laughs> Come on, you made this bed, doig. You have to lie in it now. No! <laughs> <laughs> you have to read it. No, I don't. You, you did this. No. This is your doing. Come on now. No! No! You made you made this happen. I'll delete it. It'll, it'll, you it'll can't be gone. delete it. It'll be gone. I'll throw something it'll at your head. It's gone. No, it's not. I'll turn it into a bit thing instead. I'll destroy you. Read it. Super the chat. The longer you leave it, the Super harder chat. it'll be. Super chat. I'll get you five guys. All right. <laughs> Wait, I would get a Five Guys anyway. Why am I putting <laughs> The great this? deception has been revealed. Come on, Mike. My name is Stomps. I'm from a non-union crow delivery mail system and I'm being exploited. Oh no. Poor Stomp. Please send money <laughs> to my family. Couldn't be stamps. Anyway, the messages read. Um, the message reads what? Sorry, people have been throwing squats at me. Ha 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 ha. Uh, <clears throat> Jim of the Jim says, Worth it! Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Two minutes ago, <laughs> it's, there's another post-it note attached to Jim's mail and it says, I totally got the Mons Huns. India is so right. From Evelyn Animation. Oh. That's spelled E-V-E-L-I-N-A-N-I-M-A-T-I-O-N. -E -E Evelyn, I'm so happy you're enjoying it. One minute ago. It's so good. It's so fun. I'm going to read every Chromel we've ever had. 
I don't think it may I don't think it keeps every chroma we've ever had. We'll see. Oh, it's only got from today. <laughs> Reject all. Complete all. That I think we I think we did it, guys. I think we good. Um I have to call the stream now <clears throat> because I have a lot of uh storyboard work that I have to do. Um but this page I think is is good to go. Um, like I said, I'm leaving the bottom panel, but I think the rest of it is probably good to go. Good going. Thank you. You're the best. Thanks. Amazing work. Appreciate it. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm... I'm probably gonna go do the squats off stream now, I guess, then, since I... you gave me 30 of them. One more d20 roll for the road. Before we go, we should do that every day. What I do like, you guys think? Like Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm like, in with the three immediately. 14. If it's a three, what are the odds? If it's a three, this dice has to be like Rob weighted. I also said 14. You're betting 14, are you? Yeah. Okay. Jim in the gym, go gunning for that nat 20. Tiff says 13, but then changes it to 18. All right, here we go, guys. You ready? I'm seeing if anyone's guessed this number. No one has. It's a two, guys. It's a two. You suck rolling, rolling fucking low today. You suck at rolling, man. I'm happy I'm getting all these bad rolls out before I try to play anything with this dice. <laughs> two threes and a two. Great. Thanks, dice. Good work. Shut up, Grog! <laughs> <coughs> My rolls are just fine. We're gonna raid Max. Alright, we're gonna raid Max, guys. There is a That's 2 in 20, it's true. I was using Max's brushes I got from his gum, gum road. It was 0 2, so if you just switch those two numbers around. It was really good. Weighted dice, yeah. Alright, uh, let's see if it lets me. Let's me raid today. Wait. All of my quick actions are, are broken. Oh, you're right. We do have to say bye to Aaron because he was definitely watching because I called out for him and he would have heard it across the internet. Uh, see you, Aaron. Have an awesome day. Even though it must be like three in the morning for you. <laughs> have an awesome... Bye, Aaron. Bye, Aaron. <laughs> bye, Aaron. Aaron Hansen. From yep. the Grumps. Yep. That's we're, you. we're thankful for you watching today. Yep, we thanks for coming. <laughs> Maybe one day it will work. We should study Aaron. No, we shouldn't. Let's let Aaron have his privacy. Thank you, Aaron, for this bountiful bread. Thank you, Aaron. Guys, we got up to 50 people watching. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Everybody enjoy Max because he's an incredible artist and a cool person and you will you will be blown away by his stuff. <clears throat> sleep well, big cat. Go to sleep, Aaron. It's too late. Yeah, geez, Aaron. What are you doing staying up this late and watching this stream? <laughs> Did Doi squat? No, I was gonna do them after, I think. Yeah. Gonna go do them. I'm just dead in the corner. Totally gonna go clip it. <laughs> oh no. No one clip it and tag Aaron. Stop, don't why would you even say that? You have you learned nothing from the crow mail? No one does anything, I say. Alright guys, we're, we're May leaving. May the rest of your day be filled with adventure. Bye bye. Stole my line. Did I? Yeah. May the rest of your day be filled with adventure. adventure. <laughs> there you go, just like it always is. Uh, yeah. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bye bye. <laughs>